Tip number 24. When I came out of my meditation this morning, I was thinking very quickly about something. I was remembering what happened when I was teaching the Eightfold Path in Sri Lanka. It suddenly came to me. I had 12 women. I was teaching them every week at a center in Sri Lanka. When we learned the Eightfold Path, I told them to go away for one week and watch carefully how they were actually living the Eightfold Path. At the end of the week, they came back to tell me how it went. The first woman didn't have time to do it. She said she had so many things to do. She could come to the class. She could listen to the suttas. She liked that very much, but she didn't have time for this in her life. The second woman, she told me, well, I was working so hard this week. It was a very, very hard week. And I really only think I touched the Eightfold Path maybe two times. Hmm, I said. The next one told me a similar story. She had a family. She had children. How could she pay attention to practicing the Eightfold Path when her wife was so busy? I finally got to the last one. There were a couple of women who had said that they had practiced certain parts of the path at least two or three times during the week. The twelfth woman looked at me. She said, I'm really sorry, but I, I was working very hard this week and I had to work extra shifts and I just didn't have time to practice the Eightfold Path. And I said to her, what do you do for a living? And she said to me, I'm a customer service representative in a very large store. I see, I said. Do you smile while you practice your job? And she said, well, yes, I, I have to smile all the time because it's very difficult and I represent the store and I want people to think good things about the store. I see. Can I ask you some questions? And she said, yes. I said to her, while you were helping the people with their problems, bringing back things to the store, do you think that you were taking that very personally? No, she said. I, I can't take it personally. It's just a matter of bringing things back to the store. And if people got upset, did you take that personally? She said, no, no, I didn't take it personally. I simply did what had to be done. Ah, you did what was essential. That is very good. And I see that you didn't take it personally. Mm hmm. So you had an impersonal perspective, and that is right view. Hmm, she said. Yes. Did you hold? positive images in your head when you were working. Oh, yes, she said, I had to always do that to make sure I didn't insult the customer. Ah, you were keeping harmonious images in your mind. That means you were practicing right thought. Mm, she said. And were you being kind in your communication with these people? Oh, yes. I have to be very careful. I have to be careful about my body language and my speech. So you were practicing right communication. That's good. And were you watching your mind to make sure that your attention was staying with the customer? Oh, yes, she said. It was very hard sometimes because they never stopped talking. But, you know, I was able to do this with most all of my customers. I was able to hold my own frame of mind, and that 
is good, harmonious movement of mind's attention. You weren't thinking of other things. Oh, no, I have to pay strict attention, she said. And at home, where you live, do you get support for your job? Yes, I get support, and I have some time alone also at home. Ah, that's a good thing. You are practicing harmonious lifestyle, and you have a harmonious livelihood, a right livelihood. That's good. And let me ask you this. Were you practicing a harmonious practice during this time? Were you letting things go and not letting them get to you? Oh, yes, I was practicing harmonious lifestyle, and I was being very careful. I was making sure that I was relaxing as much as possible in my job and smiling. Did you smile? Oh, yes, I smiled all day long. Every day, that's my job. I have to smile for people to make them feel at ease. And it makes my job go better. And you would say that you're careful with your observation of what's going on and being careful to keep order in the area where the returns are coming. Oh, yes, that's my job. I have to do that. Hmm. So the level of your concentration in your job when you were practicing and working, it was not too tight and not too loose, was it? Exactly. If it's way too tight, then I have to be very careful because I'm totally exhausted. But if it's just right, I can do my work and then I can go home and relax. Ah, well, that's good, I said. Seems to me, you practiced the Eightfold Path every single day last week, and you win the prize. Excellent, I said. She smiled, and everyone else was thinking they had practiced it in some way, too. They just didn't recognize it. Watch for the Eightfold Path. The Buddha has given you pearls pearls to carry with you when you live your life. Keep practicing. Keep letting go. Relax, smile, and come back. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.